I just, I don't know. I mean, I got stuck. I've been playing Overwatch since I was, well, since release, but it was on and off. Mm-hmm. And I never really had the game myself, and I was also really bad. Mm-hmm. And I was stuck in bronze for like for years, until eventually I, I just started watching a lot of videos, and then a few years later, I guess I stumbled onto your videos, and I improved a lot. But then I plateaued, and now I'm here, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, sure. And I want to get better too. Okay. With that. So going back to your form here. Are there any, uh, what I'll do is I'll go through your form questions through the discord. And then obviously if any of that stuff has changed, just let me know. All right. So you're on console, gold tank, gold DPS, no placements on support. A little bit of a flex player, right? A little bit of everything. A lot of Ryan at the time, Reaper Tracer, Lucio on. Is that still approximately the case right now? Uh, About, but it's mainly just been uh, for the DPS and tank. Um, I haven't played support as much, but when I do, it stars. Okay, sounds good. So Ryan Reaper Tracer mostly. Yeah, mainly them. And okay. right now, mainly Tracer. I played Reaper. He he was. I guess he's still my main technically. Yeah. But I got. I carried myself to plat four with him. And sure. I got really stuck, so I decided to go on Tracer. And sure. Just get better with her instead. Okay. And then I dropped all the way to like gold five and then now i'm bouncing back and forth between gold three and four nice so you've made some improvements after picking improving your tracer uh, a little bit yeah good good stuff okay so uh obviously you want to get better in general don't care about rank as much and i want to feel or know whether or not i'm actually making a difference in winning fights also understanding what i do during fights and when to do those things okay so you said you stumbled across my content and it helped a little bit what kind of stuff did you learn what kind of stuff did you improve at from what you learned Say it again. So what stuff did you learn from my content that you were able to apply? Has anything come to mind? Um, is it like in general or? Yeah, just in general. Like, like, like you said, you stumbled across my content and, and you found it helpful. What, what did you learn? What have you been applying? Um, a lot of mainly trying to keep cool, like getting up after matches. That's like the main thing that's honestly helped. Really? Okay. And right. the warm-ups. Good. Good. Okay. So yeah. a lot of like structural basic stuff. Okay. Uh, and then yeah. in terms of what your playtime breakdown is right now, exactly. Do you have your career profile pulled up in your console right now? Uh, yeah. Can you check, give me a read of what current competitive season looks like right now? Or, uh... For who specifically? Just for how? what's your total hour breakdown. So if you pull up current competitive oh, okay. season, what's the hour breakdown of each character? Uh, for each, right now, total is 15 for all heroes. Okay. Um, Most of it, most of it, but about seven hours of that is Tracer. Okay. So then, and what are the, what are the other heroes right now? Uh, right now is three hours on Reinhardt and mm-hmm. five mm-hmm. hours on Reaper. I have a lot more. I was going to say, I did recently get a lot of burnout. Mm-hmm. So I took a break and I was able to get, um, I just started playing back again like two days ago. Okay, yeah. cool. How has the game been the last few days? Um, Better. I'm not like annoyed at playing. Sure. What do you think led to the like, burnout? It doesn't feel like. Because um, you I booked the session I feel like... first, right? You booked the session, I assume, and then the burnout hit. Yes. So talk me through. Uh, er, the session, uh, the session was booked, and then I didn't have burnout until about a month later. Okay. And then recently, like I said, I started playing again. I think I don't know. I started treating it more like a chore, I guess, and I still kind of do, but like mm-hmm. I'm trying not to as much, and like I'm not. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I would put some thought into that. I, I think a few of the reasons that things that cause burnout is just simply doing too much, but mm-hmm. also things that can cause burnout is, is feeling what you're doing isn't rewarding, right? Yeah. So I think people have a lot higher tolerance for workload when they feel like whatever they're doing is leading to something and then they're pro- being productive or there's just simply enjoying what they're doing a great deal. 
right? It's not simply the volume. So for you, it might have been simply you've done too much, but it might also have been you just weren't having that much fun in the game. And you need to find out why. What was causing that? Was it the meta? Was it the heroes that you were playing? Was it some of the, your approach to losses? Uh, was it maybe the lack of breaks? You talked about that being very helpful as well. And, or, or maybe not feeling rewarded, like feeling like you're not really progressing, you're not really understanding, and then that's very important too. And we could talk mm -hmm. about those things today, but I think the most important thing you need to do is you need to think through when you were enjoying Overwatch at any point in the past four or five months. Why? What were you, what was, what were the circumstances? And then what was different when you weren't enjoying Overwatch? Don't just blame the meta there. Think about it all long and hard, if that makes sense. Um, if you don't have an answer right now, it's fine. Just something to think about some other time. But if, if, if yeah. there's anything that comes to mind, let me know. Yeah. Okay. I usually play like half the day, sometimes more or less. It's just random. But on the more side recently, though, obviously that this has changed. But at the time, the past two weeks, I've barely played at all. I got burned out. I've been keeping up on deathmatch, so at least my mechanics don't get rusty. Okay. Um, long term, I want to be a streamer of some time or a social media guy helping other Overwatch players, like a coach almost, I guess. Going pro wouldn't help hurt either. Short term, know what to look for when coaching myself. And again, just in general, get better. Okay. So let's see here. My mechanics definitely need work, but I know that's something that comes with time and practice. I do feel like I have a win-lose mentality when team fights get lost. I get tilted when a match is close to an ending on a loss. Once the loss actually happens, I feel I can handle it all right, though. Game since I feel like it's my strength out of everything since I've been playing since Overwatch 1 and watched a ton of videos improving. Okay, so what aspects of game since? Positioning, old economy, cooldowns, or a little bit of everything? A little bit of everything but more on the positioning side okay so you feel like you have a little bit more intelligence now when you say game sense are you good at applying the game sense or you just you know you just don't always apply what you know probably the second one yeah okay sounds good sounds yeah. good all right uh that's definitely me too <laughs> uh <laughs> I don't know, overall i don't think i should much holding it back probably a little bit of everything Okay, let's talk a little bit about sleep. Sometimes six to nine. Half the time, it's just me taking naps throughout the day. I know it's not that good. I'm working on that. Total hours, though, I think 10 on average. How has that been? Um, recently, actually better. I actually uh, been sleeping in more, but since the form, I have been going to sleep like around 11 or 10, and like wow, getting a full night's rest. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Okay, great. Yeah. What, 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 did, what changed there? Like what happened? Is it just, it just happened or, or, or what? Um, I, I don't know if it's healthy or not. I, I'm not sure, but I just decided. Next day I just go to sleep on time and over sure. the course of days, I guess it just improved, I guess. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm glad to hear it. Well done. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's uh, we'll try and keep that going. But yeah, I, I think for you, your challenge is, is, is with the, the burnout, the sleep, your enjoyment of the game. Don't just focus on, oh, this is negative. Let's find out why. I challenge you to when it's going well, find out why. Mm -hmm. When you have a great day of Overwatch, why? What was different? Was there anything that you can put your finger on? Are there any habits that you did? You had a great night's sleep? Why? What'd you do? Try to... Try to echo or mirror those moments again because i think keeping good momentum is is important and then obviously if you have a bad day if you're a little burned out don't worry about it you can bounce right back um okay i think a part that did play a role with the burnout was the fact that i was also playing a new hero that i hadn't played and the tracer i guess yeah and i guess yeah, i don't know just yeah. me you know her being the hardest i guess <laughs> gets, i get sweaty and then i get more tilted because i'm getting really sweaty and yep yeah yep 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 uh so so let's 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 hammer off of that because obviously tracer is still hard it's not like oh you have solved tracer i'm good yeah. at tracer no <laughs> so so what are you going to do differently here how are you going to approach things i think me giving you feedback will help with that a, l a little bit but a lot of that's your responsibility so so how are you going to handle that um I know this is a tough question, <laughs> but it's an important <laughs> one, right? Don't feel stupid. This is tough. 
Can you ask it again? What do you think you can do differently? Or what do you think you're going to try to do to keep yourself from getting overwhelmed and frustrated with Tracer again? Um, I guess what I've just been recently been doing, just um, the whole taking breaks and like, again, she is the hardest character in the game. So not beat myself up as much. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, why did you pick Tracer? Is it because she's the hardest character in the game or because you really do enjoy playing her sometimes? Um, It's a bit of both. I have that, like, whenever I play her, I feel, I, I don't know if it's on them or not, but I get, like, an adrenaline rush, I guess, when I'm, like, in danger um, in yep. the game. And just the whole, like, being really fast. I like that, like, idea. But it yeah. also, of course, her being the hardest is, like, I want that challenge too. Yeah, of course. Understandable. Understandable. I, I would, uh, as long as you're enjoying the process and in really enjoying playing Tracer and not just enjoying the idea of playing Tracer. Do you understand the difference? Yeah. Like, you, I understand what you're saying. Like, oh, I want to be the guy that can play all the hard characters. That that sounds really attractive to me. But what if when I do it, it, it I just, I just don't have fun. I want to have fun, but I'm not having fun. Maybe that's something that you need to be keeping an eye on, okay? And when you do enjoy playing Tracer, ask yourself, what, under what circumstances am I enjoying this process? Like, why, why have I enjoyed this so much? And can I try and mirror that again? Just something to consider. Mm -hmm. Because I can tell you right now that the biggest problem you have is that burnout and that fun. Because that's yeah. why you only have 13, 14 hours or 15 hours or whatever on the characters that you're trying to get better at. Mm -hmm. And that playtime is the most important thing, but it has to be quality playtime. Okay, why am I not getting quality playtime? Because I'm not having fun. Okay, why am I not having fun? Well, I'm trying to getting frustrated at Tracer. Okay, why am I getting frustrated at Tracer? And if you can answer that question, then you can play Overwatch, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's, that's the most important thing to solve. I would also take a look at how you're structuring your time as well, because you are playing two different roles, which is not a huge problem, but make sure that you, you might want to make sure that you're getting approximately the same amount of hours in the characters that you want to improve at. Like say, let's say your tracer is a little bit worse than your reaper. You'd put a little bit more hours in your tracer to get it up to par with your reaper. Let's say that mm -hmm. your Ryan's still very important for you uh, and it's kind of fallen behind. Okay. Catch up a little bit on your Ryan art and, and so on. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. think, three heroes over three or four hours, which is what you're generally getting, right? Around three to four hours? Uh, about, I usually, sometimes I'll do like the play until I lose, sometimes until I just can't concentrate right, and then I'll just switch over to the next role, and then I just do that. And so okay, I go through all the heroes that I usually play, and then I'm done for the day probably. Okay, okay, okay. Not a yeah. bad idea, not a bad idea, but I will, I will say the only potential danger would be that by the time that you get to your second and third character, you're not really getting great practice for very long. So mm -hmm. you just need to be aware that those, <laughs> if, if you're only playing Reinhardt after you've played three or four hours of Tr Reaper Tracer, your Reinhardt practice might not be that good. <laughs> um, yeah. Which is not a problem if Tracer and Reaper are way more important for you. But just make sure mm -hmm. that that's the case. Whatever character is most important gets played first. Yeah. Any other questions with playtime or practice or anything else? Uh, not right now, no. Okay. Do you want to jump into gameplay? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Do you want to shoot me a replay code? And we'll take a look. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you prefer a loss or a win, but the win was barely won? I want you to send barely. me a game where you have questions, mm -hmm. whether win or loss. And if you're like, okay, this is a pretty close game, that's fine. Totally fine. This one was a pretty close game. I feel like I did really good. So I don't know what I was doing wrong. Or it just might have just been one of those games where it's just unlucky, I guess. I guess I could do this one. Mm -hmm. um, let me just get the replay code for it.
Uh, okay, uh, let me type it in. Yeah, sure. Got it. Let me stream through here. Yeah. Now I know on phone it can be a little hard to see, so let me know if you have any issues catching any of what I'm talking about, all right? Yeah. Okay. And you are Tracer here? Yes. Okay. Now, why did you choose this one? You said it was relatively close? Uh, yeah, it went... I th I don't, I'm not sure if I remember if it was back and forth, or we almost won, and then we started getting rolled for some reason. I'm not really sure which one it was. Okay. But Sounds it was good. close. Okay. Any questions with Tracer, playstyle, positioning, cooldown usage mechanics, or anything else? Um... Not right now. Okay, let's take a look. What's your priority with Tracer? How does Tracer play? What makes Tracer unique? Uh, her mobility and being able to um, oh, harass backline really easily. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's turrets interesting. Okay, so one of the things that you have to talk about is how do I use my mobility and how do I harass backline appropriately? So you might look at this and be like, oh, this is fine, right? Like, this is okay. Like, I'm on backline. But what, what are some potential problems with what you're doing right now? Let's, before you even die, what do you see? Uh, like, what? Um, my tank is not engaged and currently running away. Possibly, away, but... possibly, but see, I don't even think that's necessarily the problem. Yeah, your team isn't quite there. That is true. Yeah. So you needed to be a little bit more careful with before you win it. That's true. But I will say that your tank is engaged. Like, like he, mm -hmm. she's taking a lot of damage. Okay, <laughs> like, like this Sims yeah. here, the Sigma's here, the Mercy's pocketing the Sigma as well. So there's a lot of resources going this way. So I, I think that the timing could be a little better, but I don't think it's terrible. Mm. What, how does Tracer, what, how do you use your mobility as Tracer? You've done a little um, bit of it right here, right? Um, how I use it or how I'm mm -hmm. supposed mm -hmm. to use it? Either. Um, I'm not sure how to, like, explain it. That's okay. Or That's describe okay. it. That's why we're here. I want you to think about it for a solid. I'm going to give you 20 seconds. No rush. I'm putting okay. the pressure on you. Think about it. How would you describe <laughs> it? Um, Let's start with this. You're explaining to a bronze player, Tracer and her hmm. strengths, her mobility. How do you explain it to a bronze player? Um, Again, take your time. I mean, you can close distance. If you, you can Why is close that with the blinks. Why is that important? Um, because of her mobility, she's fast and she can catch up to like weak targets. Yeah, yeah. But why would you want to close distance? Uh, to put pressure or eliminate someone. Why do you need to close distance to put pressure? Cassidy doesn't have to do that. Uh, right? because he's like, is a. Uh, he does more damage, like mid range, and Tracer is not really good at mid range or so long range. Tell me what's wrong with our screen right now. There is no short range uh, okay. lines right now. Okay. So you've explained it to a bronze player. Congratulations. You've been unable to close the distance here, which is why this happens. Okay? Yeah. But that's only half the reason why this happens. What, when you're explaining to a bronze player, what else does your mobility do? It allows you to close distances, but also. Where does Tracer close distances? Where does the Tracer play? Uh, around uh, backline flanks. Yeah, around backline flanks. And why? Why? Why is that important? Because it's valuable, right? Why is it valuable? Let's start mm -hmm. with why it's valuable, and then we'll talk about why it's needed. So, why is it valuable for a Tracer to play backline flanks? How does that help you, and how does it help your team? Because um, they don't have to put resources on me, and the sure. enemy team is worried about a tracer in the back line sure sure why is there fear 
Why is there fear? Let me give you, let me give you a good example. What makes a horror movie so scary? Is it the monster in the room or is it the monster in the closet? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Why is it something in the closet so much scarier? Because you don't know what it is or where it is. Right. There's that element of surprise. It's the element of hiding. And there's, Mm -hmm. for you, you want to get to back line. You want to get to squishies. So you need to get to back line. Mm -hmm. Or at least on a bit of a side angle, right? Now you could say, well, I'm a bit of a side angle here. But let me ask you a question. If I'm Echo here and I'm shooting tank, okay? Like let's say I'm right here. How much crosshair movement is required to shoot Tracer from where you were? Not much. You, you see the problem here? This is too easy. This is very easy. Mm-hmm. In fact, I don't even lose awareness of the tank because I can see the tank while I'm shooting you. Mm-hmm. Whereas the monster in the closet is here or here or here or even here. And that comes down to convenience as much as fear because it's inconvenient for me to turn around you understand what i'm saying and as a console player you should know more so than anything else because that's the biggest problem with console it is hard to turn right very hard to turn you need to exploit that you need to exploit that so my problem here is twofold you described it as you need to get onto backline and you need to close the distance and while you were technically on a little bit of an off angle here, right? You really did neither of those two things that you described. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, this is like unlucky or mechanic. No, it's not. It's just a bad position. So then how do you solve this problem? Let's ignore the timing for right now. In fact, you wouldn't even have a timing problem if you took the time to set up, right? So where should you go? Uh, the doorway on the right. Now what? Yeah. Uh, I could probably shoot this in from there, but probably I'd want to blink to where that tree is. And then now just stay there. And stay here? And then if they put pressure on you, where else could you go? Uh, I could blink through to the doorway on the right. You got it. And as you'll find, there's yeah. even a pathway here to a mega health pack. So you got all sorts yeah. of stuff here. And that's it. That's it. That's all there is. Super easy, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We had to pull the information that you already knew into something very specific and direct with, and then talk about how that, that's really all there is to it. We don't have to overthink it too much. Your rollout was fine. I think rolling out on that side, that initial positioning is fine. You just needed to keep going. Yeah. If you shoot here, you are trolling. Why? Because um, same thing is long range and my team is like dying right now. And not there. And, and not just that, but look at the type of angle. You see what I'm saying? Look at how much crosshair like right movement. Look how much crosshair movement's required, right? Th- this is okay if there's no other angle that you can take, but that is not at all the case. Where could you go? Where should you go from here? Um, assuming I'm still engaging. Mm-hmm. Uh, keep going, not through that doorway, but just keep going like straight along. You got it. Yeah. You got it. This is inconvenient. This is painful. This is also a lot safer for you because you can close the distance and you can see things easier. And they can't. If they turn to look at you, they're not looking at your team. So, uh, And I agree with you. I actually think you should fight here because most of your team is here. So you need to fight with the majority of your team because not, not everybody always perfectly regroups. But yeah. And I, but I don't think you will. I think you're going to shoot here. Now you do get to backline, but the problem is... There's risk there, right? That could have been a Sin Orb. That could have been an Echo Shot. Whatever. Let's go. Good, but too far. Wait for our team to reset, I assume. What do you think? Fight's about I to start, so maybe you're a little early, just like a few seconds early, like one or two seconds earlier. But let's talk about the position first. I know this is a new map, but I'm going to cheat for you so you can practice thinking about this map. Where should you be? Behind the um, post thingy. I don't know what it's called. Give Where me the, the color. Blue? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Yep. 
Yep, 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 yep. I don't even know if there's a health pack over here. Yeah, there is a mega. Yep, there you go. Yeah. There's, there's another there option too, because you said on the back line, but I actually don't care where you are as long as it's on a deep angle. Because you know who else you could be shooting right now? Sigma. Mm -hmm. From where? You see it? Oh, wait, never mind. I thought there would be a doorway here. Never mind. Disregard. Never mind. I'm retiring. Okay. But okay, if there was a door frame here, like I feel like there should be, you could be shooting the Sigma in the back. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Tank, DPS support, doesn't matter. What's the problem with your angle right now? It's deep enough, but... It's not a short sight line. It's, it's not really a short sight line. line. It's a really long one. Right. You got it. Yeah. You got it. I'm actually curious. Is there health back in here? We'll cry. Oh yeah, there's a mini. Okay, that that this wouldn't be too bad either if yeah. you got there. But yeah, okay. You know what? Could be a lot worse, right? Could be a lot worse. Yeah. You need to use cover here, but this is this is useful. Let's we'll see how you do. Hey, look at that. Look at this poor Moira. Look at this. She's like, uh, oh, kill tracer. Must kill tracer. Oh no, team die, must help team. Oh no, Tracer, ah! Right, yeah, you're doing a good job. I think every yeah. every Moira talks and like... I mean, that's just really good stickies from the Echo. Like, you even blink I towards think, the health back there. I think the Echo and the Sim were really um, hurting me a lot in this game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So let, let's coach the micro here. What should you do here quickly, quicker? <laughs> um, probably leave. Just blink, you know, blink. Like you're, their yeah. crosshairs put right on you and you need to blink <laughs> before you shoot, right? It's because your first yeah. response, notice this, it's like, okay. Oh crap, recall. Yep, good shot. Mm -hmm. But then you start to like kind of shoot and then you blink? No, 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 no. Remember, yeah. whenever their crosshair is on you, you need to blink first because every character in the game, almost without exception, can almost one-shot you. So you always blink, sh then turn their crosshair, then shoot. So basically shoot when they're not looking, and then when they are looking, blink. So if you blink like this here, then shoot. She misses her stickies. Then you blink back, grab the mega. She turns to look at you. You hide. Then you blink out and shoot again, right? It's blink, shoot, blink, shoot. Usually is like a good, a good rhythm to go. That being said, that's still the most value you've had this entire game. Because you were on a, a deep angle, nice and short, well-timed. Congratulations. Nice fight. What do you think? Uh... I could probably get closer. Yeah, I would say same door frame. What what's the depth score? Good or bad? Um bad. I would say it's okay just because you fold the Symmetra here and you're not going to stay here. But yeah, I think you could go deeper eventually. But yeah, I think this is okay for now. Cuz remember, what do they have to do to to look at you? Turn around. You see that? That's much yeah. better than first fight. So it's not all the way around, but you don't always need to go all the way around. You just need to make sure that they're not on your screen whenever you can. A side angle is fine. Side's fine. Back angle, that's fine too. Totally up to you. Whatever the map provides. Now, what should you do right now? This is really, really, really important. What do you do when somebody takes an angle and you're on that angle? What should you do? Duel them. Duel them. You got it. Beat the Symmetra, force her to your team, then harass backline. Do you see what I'm talking about? The blink shooting? Check this out. You shoot. You don't know Symmetra's there. Symmetra starts to shoot you. Your first response should be to what? Blink. Blink. What do you do? You blink. Then you shoot. Mm -hmm. And why should you shoot here? Look at her crosshair. Do you see it? Yeah, she's not looking at me. She's not looking. She's turning her crosshair over. So guess what? You shoot. 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 Crosshair on you. What should you do? Blink again. Blink again. You're a little slow, but you got the right idea. You recall. Probably could have done a little bit more damage and then recalled because she can't burst you as much. But honestly, the recall is fine. And guess what the Moira has to do now? You see it? Moira's come over to help. Now what should you do now? Um, play life, probably. Play your life. Maybe do continue to do damage if you think that you can get away with it. But don't necessarily go for the kill here. Okay, so let's see how we yeah. do. 
uh very risky but holy crap yeah. nice pulse <laughs> thanks I, I think as soon as I see a 2v1 here, I'm, I'm focusing more on keeping that 2v1 advantage for my team. But you know what? If you can pulse bomb like that, then I'm not going to complain. I will say as well that even, even without the pulse bomb here, you are winning this fight off of this. Like they're actually using Flux and their Sigma's getting smoked because their Symmetra and Moira are doing nothing right now. Mm -hmm. And you shouldn't die either, right? Like you should, you should just be able to just shoot, shoot, distract, stay. I like the hiding here, waiting for your HP to come back. Oh, that's, that's really annoying. That's so unlucky yeah. in the echo comes back from spawn. <laughs> yeah, this this one, again, do not worry about it. This is night and day from first two fights. Mm -hmm. Much better. This is low plat level Tracer gameplay. Whereas I would say the first fight was like silver, you know? <laughs> and the difference yeah. is just, you just needed to be thinking about like, is this close? Am I deep? Is this close? Am I deep? What do you think about this? It's good. It's pretty good. You know, that's it's not going to yeah. be good for long. You can feel that they're going to run away, but it's it's not bad to start. Yeah. Too slow to too slow to respond, right? Why? Yeah. What do you need um, to do? Blink. Blink. Where? Uh, probably back to where I was from. Sure. The you, 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 in fact, you might not even need to leave the doorway. Shoot cover, shoot cover, see what they do. You know what I'm saying? You could blink to here. You could blink back in here. You got a choice. But you need, but you need to respect poke damage more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's not, go ahead. Oh, I was going to uh, I have a question. When, when do I uh, decide if I'm going to just shoot from cover versus walk out of cover and follow? When cover doesn't get you close enough. Mm -hmm. That's it. So if you ask yourself, okay. how much damage can I do from this here? It's, it's okay. It's okay. But if they move any further away, I, I need I need to get out of here. Hmm. Do you understand? Because it's yeah. just too far away. But if you can always play coverage tracer, you're always going to play coverage tracer. You like you're any like in, you might blink from cover to here to blink back and blink here, right? But you would love cover. Sometimes you just have to be pushed out of cover to to get to people. If that makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, your, your problem here is, again, like, they put their crosshair on you. And I know it's, like, there's a lot of, like, probably a lot of red on your screen. Um, I mean, it's blue now, but at the time of the game, it's probably, like, a lot. So it's kind of hard to see with the sim wall. But you, yeah. you need, you need, that this is, it's really tough to get your recall forced that quickly. I mean, that's good. That was good. So it's, like, I wouldn't say this was a bad fight from you in terms of strategy. Uh, it's just not very good mechanically. It's not even good. It's not bad mechanically in terms of your aim. It's just bad mechanically in terms of how you're using your blinks and cover. Hmm. Make sense? Yeah. That being said, good setup, good angle. Obviously, it rewards you with stuff here. She's trying to hide from your team. She walks right into you. And now, you chase. Let's go. Go, go, go. You had to chase because they're too far away, right? Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, this is great. This is good. Okay, I, I gotta know. I, I think, I think... Okay. I think I mean, that I, was uh, not trying to feed. I think. Yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter who's dead either way, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Get close to somebody. Actually, no, that was his own Ramatra. Wait a second. Wait a second. Time out. Oh no, 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 no. That was a copy from Echo. I'm, I'm dumb. I was like, wait, the sound cue here. It, it's just the movement. You notice this? He's looking right at you. You have to move to cover here. You have to. You have to. Yeah. Because this is too easy. And then you blink, shoot again, but now he's already putting his crosshair on you. Like, you're not really making it harder here. Like, he's just moving his crosshair like this. This is easy. When he has to do this, yeah. right? It's like, you need to be a fly. You need to be a fly. All right? Yeah. Flies don't hover directly in front of your eyes. You know, they flap behind your head, behind your arm, behind your neck. You know, it's hard to nail down. Okay, set up your angle and shoot. Set up your angle and shoot. This is not a good angle. I guess it's awkward with how the fight's like. Everyone's like all over the place, you know, so I won't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, look, I get it. It It's fun. You know. That, was, that was an accident. I was trying um, to get off of her. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, likely story. <laughs> Ooh, nice clip. And obviously, she doesn't even put her crosshair on you until too late, so you don't even need to blink at all, right? Yeah. 
And even there's some characters like Moira, where like like this, for example, you're like, yeah, you could blink this. Like maybe I would blink it maybe once or twice just to make her move her crosshair a little bit. But like obviously she doesn't like she's not gonna one shot you. So if you want to focus on your tracking here, that's okay with me too. Get her. Or, or this. Yeah, this is good. Moira, I think, is dead either way. Surely. Okay, any questions so far? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, notice how this is very simple, right? I know you're like a big brain strategy game sense guy, but <laughs> like, it's like, we, like we established, you and I are in the same cloth. Like, we, we know stuff, we don't do stuff. Cause, and this is where... Now, I don't do stuff because I don't play the game. At least that's my excuse. Uh, you play the game more than me. You have no excuse. So you need to figure out yeah, why. Or, well, well, okay. Well, you don't actually play the game recently, <laughs> right? So and then, then that's kind of like that's all goes back to what we were first talking about. It's like, okay, then why don't you play the game? Um, it's not a bad pulse. It's a little early. I don't mind pulsing tank. Just try to like wait for the fight to start so that your team can follow up. The other problem here is what? Cool on you, right? Yeah. I use both. I I got scared that I was gonna uh, um, bomb myself. You have three like, blanks, right man. You up. have three blanks. Yeah, yeah, no. Trust, trust I yourself. Trust yourself. I I would rather you mess up your blinks and kill yourself, and then go. Oh no, I, I blinked the wrong way. Then build a bad habit. It's not that recall pulse is bad, but recall pulse is bad when you don't need it. It's too long of a cooldown. <laughs> Thirteen seconds. Ouch. And then you double blink anyway. Yeah, not great. Yeah. All right, they're coming from there. Set up your angle. Decide quick, 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 quick. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Don't look at your team necessarily. I know it's a little bit chaotic right now, but you can kind of like listen for like, you just need to think about where's the enemy and set up an angle on them. Because mm -hmm. if you go here and you're setting up and you're like, okay, they're clearly not being shot right now. So I'm just going to chill. That's fine. But you need to get set up now. Go. Good, 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 good. Do it. Come on, commit. Commit. Where should you blink right now? Coach yourself. Uh, straight forward to where, mm -hmm. uh, behind her. Mm. Mm. Shoot. She's going to turn crosshair. Blink. Shoot. She's dead. If she's not dead, recall. Mm. Blink. Shoot. She's dead. Yeah. Don't be a coward. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> you have full HP. You have triple blink. You have recall. You have an isolated target. You have a good angle. Do it. If you, because if you don't do it, they're gonna kill you, right? You don't have a choice. It's just like the Symmetra earlier when you pulsed her, right? You didn't have a choice to ignore that Symmetra. You take if they're on your angle, you have to fight them. Yeah. If you if you die, that's okay. Try again. Try again next time. There's nothing wrong with that. Do the right thing. Don't be like, oh, I'm going to avoid I'm gonna avoid it because it's risky. You know what's risky? Doing nothing. That's risky. You get what I'm saying? This is risky. Yeah. I'd rather you do something and fail doing it, but it's the right thing. It builds good habits. Because eventually, if you can't do it right now, you will. The more practice you get, the better you'll get it. Okay. Let's coach your mechanics. Is crosshair on you? Uh, no. So what should you do? Shoot. Is crosshair on you? Yeah. You were just reacted a teeny bit slow. Give them a little bit more respect, and so you lose a lot of HP, right? Yeah. But you did blink, right? It was all right. Crosshair was not on you, so then you shoot melee. You miss a little bit. Oh, no, crosshair's on me again. She's right in my face. Blink again. Is crosshair on you? No. No. And in addition to that, she's very low. So maybe you could greed this, even if the crosshair was on you. It'd be risky, but it might be worth it. And then crosshair's on you, but she's too late. She's dead. Yeah. And then you don't even use your recall because you don't need to. It's really good. That's really, really good stuff right there. Well done. Excellent, excellent, excellent work. That's the kind of mechanical stuff you need. Get on an angle, find a target, even if it's just to distract, and start putting pressure. Now, the problem here is, ah, yeah, you're solving it. Nice job. I love this. You're like, this is not an angle. I need to figure this out. Yep, this is good. Let's see what you could do. What do you think? What do you think about the depth of this uh, angle? Look at where the enemy's crosshair is, and look at where you are. What do you think? 
or specifically Sim or the whole team? Anybody. Sure. A little bit of both. Um, it's it's good just because mm -hmm. I'm on high ground. Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. No. I'm behind them. That's it. Why? But yeah. normally this would not be good because most of your team's going to be here, right? And I'd be like, this is not good enough because the enemy team can do this and this and th that's bad, right? Yeah. But look at where your team is. They're that's a significant. That's a that's a yeah. significant crosshair movement, right? You see that? So now this is good. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think about the range of the angle? The depth of the angle is good. What about the range of the angle? Um, it's good for who I'm dueling right now. Yep. 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 Yeah. What happens when the Smetra backs up? Um, I keep pushing forward through that doorway. On the you got it. You got wall. it. Or they just walk to you. Yeah, see, but either way, people walk away from you. So what do you do? You de you de you deepen. I mean, this is great. This is so much better. This is so much better. Now win the 1v1. Let's go. Or this. This is perfect. Even the trigger discipline I'm seeing where you're like pausing your clip to shoot again. Really nice. Nice! Trigger discipline again there. I would have gone for the, the, the life over there, but yeah, other than that, it was fine. Yeah, deep angle, short angle, you're using your blink swell, and he's not, do you notice that you're not even blinking now, why? Because he's not paying attention to me. Right, now you need to be ready for respawns here, because that's about to be a problem. Okay, maybe not, but yeah. yeah. But yeah, absolutely, just keep shooting. Just play Kovacs, just shoot. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Good job, you have another code. Um, for Tracer or someone else? I don't know. What do you want coaching for? <laughs> it's your session, man. <laughs> um, uh, who is this for? I want to see who I played in this match. Oh, yeah, this one's good. Okay, this one was just like literally 20 minutes before the session started. Sure, sure. Um, Is this more Tracer? Uh, this one's Reinhardt, actually. Okay. Uh, let me type it in real quick. Sure, and then when you're done typing, we'll take some quick notes for Tracer. Okay. I have other Tracer ones, but there's, those are from like over a week, almost a week ago that's fine that's fine yeah I, I think we had at least a good enough of an idea yeah um it's not letting me send it uh it's uh yep. k2 q x e q got it <clears throat> all right let's take uh some quick tracer notes before we jump into ryan what did you see what mm -hmm. little details need to be cleaned up what are some things you need to put focus and thought into more um, if my angle is deep enough and close range enough. Depth of angle. Make them move their crosshair. At least 90 degrees. Impossible. Range of angle. Play your effective range. Okay, and then in terms of the mechanics. Um... Move swing your movement, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know how I would describe like what I would need to do with that, the movement. Sure. They, uh, I'll type it up for you. How does that look? <clears throat> that last point. Uh, yeah. Okay. When you move, when their crosshair is on your head. Mm -hmm. When you blink, and they're looking the wrong way, or slowly turning, that's your opportunity to shoot. Rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. General rule to follow. Any other questions? Uh, no. Um, okay. No. Let's keep applying that. The difference between the first and second half of that VOD, while the second half definitely had some mistakes, the first half was uh, a lot worse and then 
the di- only difference was how you positioned yourself. It's the only difference. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. Ryan. Any questions with Ryan? Um, no. Okay. We'll take a look. Think, no. Your job with Ryan is to hit people with your hammer. And the threat of hitting mm-hmm. people with your hammer makes them look at you. And then when you look at you, if you cannot hit them with your hammer or you don't have enough HP to hit them with your hammer, you hold your shield. That's it. Mm-hmm. The only other exception is like Tracer, you need to ask yourself, who do I really like hitting with my hammer? Can't, and then you're like, oh, I don't like hitting Diva with my hammer because she takes a, forever to freaking kill. I would love to hit Ash and Life Fever with my hammer. I wonder if I can hit them with my hammer. That's it. Oh, um, I do have a question. Yes. Which is actually what happens in this match. What do I do as Ryan if like, you know when like fights get really brawly and just everyone's just out of position? Yep. Like, um, yeah. What do I? What am I supposed to do in that scenario when I can't reach anyone and no one can reach it? Yeah, I don't know. When nobody can really reach anyone, and everything's just crazy. Pin somebody. Okay. If you can't reach anybody, use your pin to get to them. Your okay. pin and your shield are your entire play cell. Your entire play cell. Okay. Pin to get to targets. Shield to allow yourself to not die once you've pinned to those targets. The new Reinhardt pin is unbelievably important for Reinhardt and Overwatch 2. And by that, I mean your ability to yeah. pin faster, to control, to cancel pin. Uh, and obviously, now you have even more shield so that you can bait even more attention and waste even more time. Heck, you even have the heal passive. So sometimes if you shield all the damage, you start to regenerate HP so that you can pin out again. Mm-hmm. Like Tracer, the threat of pressuring squishies forces attention, which then you, your team can use for space. Yeah. So right now, I want you walking to a corner, whether that's here or here or heck, even here, and playing to threaten people with your hammer. You see Ash right here and you have a full HP, where should you go right now? Um, towards the right? Yep, kill the Ash right now, pin right at her. Do you have enough HP to get away with it? Yeah. Do you have enough shield to get away with it? Yeah. Do it now. What will the diva mm-hmm. do when you do this? What well, everyone's gonna know, right? What's gonna happen? What's the diva gonna do? They're all gonna they're all gonna come to me. Are you gonna take any damage? Uh, a bit. A yeah. bit. A bit. A but yeah. it should be very difficult for Diva and Ash to kill you. You get in there, you either kill the Ash yeah. or she runs screaming away. Diva peels all the way. And what does that do for your team when the Ash is running away, turned around, and the diva has boosted out away from your team? What, what kind of space does your Hanzo and Junkrat and Life Fever and Moira have? A uh, lot of space. A lot of space. And what can a Hanzo do from a position like this or a Junkrat do from a position like this versus a position all the way back here? You get what I'm saying? Um, That's what space is. Yeah. Space is so that people can get a choke to spam, a high ground, a sight lane, cover. It's your job mm-hmm. right now. You have the HP, you have the shield, go. Do not wait. You have the HP to do it, do it. You're kind of holding the corner here, but you have the, you have the mobility. Do it right now. Right there, right there. You see it? Ash, life fever, I don't care. Go. Pin them, swing if you can get the kill, fire strike if you get the kill, or hold shield. I, I like how you're clearing space. You see this? This is good. But you could have been a lot yeah. more violent and quick about it. A lot more violent, and you would have not lost HP to do so. Not, not, not worth it. Uh, that being said, I do like that you rotated out the Ash. That's good. Diva just used boosters. What should you do? You see it? Go to her team. Yep, get her. Trade back lines. You're a dive tank. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's go. I think the theory of what you're trying to do here by like zoning backline, you see it? Like I'm going to shield off backline and, and not go back to peel the diva, right? You're like level two Reinhardt here as opposed to level mm-hmm. one. Okay, level one would just, oh, protect my team. You're out there like kind of control backlines, but you need to be level three, which is not just control backline but if you get the opportunity kill or threaten kills at backline you are not threatening at all right now you're not even close to threatening and you have had opportunity to be threatening that's the key thing make sense Mm -hmm. yeah that's why characters like zenyatta and stuff are so difficult for reinhardt because you could threaten kills on them yeah but they can also threaten kills on you right um 
But like a life weaver ash, like you might not be able to kill life weaver, but it's so easy. He doesn't do anything to you, right? Like you just, you can kind of just ignore him. Um, yep, sure. If the tank's the closest thing, beat the crap out of the tank. Then get your HP back and now find a squishy. Go, let's go. You got HP, let's go. Yep, there you go. Go, keep going. Go, 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 go. Good, okay. Team is behind, team is behind. Preserve your HP, preserve your HP, preserve your HP. Sure. The only mistake you made here was what? Go, go, go. Didn't go. Now what? Where's your team? Um, not there. Not there. So what should you do right now? Um, go back to them? Or, yeah, or or just don't take damage. Your choice. Mm -hmm. Your choice. Literally do not take a single tick of damage right now. You've already messed up. Mm -hmm. So you, I want you to push, 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 push. Okay, we cleaned up. They've disengaged. Now we just chill. Now we just live. Yeah. You take damage. This swing, this shield, this fire strike, this is stupid. This is really stupid. You need to either just pin out or just hold shield. That was your job. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Rhino is very black and white. You're either in, threat and kills, or you're holding shield. One or the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Get him. <laughs> okay. You just got saved by life, Griff. You're crazy. <laughs> You didn't even care about the diva bomb. <laughs> I thought I thought I was gonna be in cover behind the bus. I don't really know where exactly he was. Oh, maybe you're right. Oh man, it was close. I don't think you would have been. I think it would have gone over the tree. I think it would have gone over the tree. Damn. I actually think you might have been okay with the damage reduction. Wait, no, it, you know it wouldn't. I think that. Mm, I don't know. It would have been. It would have been close. Let's put it that way. It would have been really close. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Do you have HP? Do you have shield? Pen. Mostly, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's annoying. I was lagging at that point. Too. That's annoying. That's okay. Yeah. So let's actually talk about this situation right here. Why would you not necessarily pin this at? Like, let's say you're right here. Why would you not necessarily pin this ash here? Because I'd be a little too far for help, and I don't have... At the time, I don't think I had much resources. Okay, okay. Or no, I did. So there's a very important difference. Pinning Ash here versus... Remember pinning Ash first fight? Mm -hmm. Was there anybody in the way between no, you and the Ash? No, she was by herself. She was by herself, and then, yes, that D.Va would have come back, but you could have gotten there safely on the... on the Kind of like the flank, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, there's somebody between you and the Ash. You need to beat them out of the way first, then go. Now... Mm -hmm. If you wanted to get to the ash right now, how would you do it? Um, Think like a tracer. Go around to the back left side. Then yeah. pen. You understand? Yeah. Now, it sounds crazy to do that, but you can do it. You can do it if you'd mm -hmm. like to. It's up to you. You can also just beat the crap out of the front line and er quote unquote earn the ash. That's fine. But that's mm -hmm. your choice. If There's nothing wrong with going around. That creates space too. The problem with going directly through the ash though is why? Why would this never work? Um, they're all seeing me coming in. Mm -hmm. It's the same reason why if you were playing Tracer here, if you wanted to go for ash here, you would never run right down the middle. Never. You'd always go around. Does that make sense? It's the same rule. Reinhardt doesn't play by a different rule just because he has a shield in his armor. He might go for backline and, and live forever and then pin out, but you don't cheat the game. The difference between you and Tracer, though, is that you don't have to go like this because you can just win the frontline trade. And that's something that Tracer mm -hmm. doesn't have the option to do. So this, this is fine. You see this? Like, this is fine. You will, you will win this trade versus most tanks in most circumstances. Rissa Fortify, Malga, Cardiac, maybe not. But even versus those characters, once those cooldowns are down, you can win that trade. You can win that trade. You can take less damage and do more damage. Especially when you have your Shatter. Like, I don't hate, I don't, I really don't hate this. My only problem here is you need to shatter this right now. Mm -hmm. You've seen life grip, right? On the D.Va, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Use the shatter. Solo shatter versus uh, life hoover is fine as long as the uh, life rip has been used. Because if you shatter the Steva, she's demacked, right? You're going to swing, swing, pen, she's dead. It's over. Yeah. One kill is all you need. One kill is all you need. The problem is you just took too much damage. She, quote unquote, won the tank trade because you didn't get the swings that you wanted. You didn't get the pin that you wanted and you didn't, um, you didn't shatter. So basically, yes, D.Va is super strong right now, but you're not playing the tank trade very well. And then also, you're not only not playing the tank trade very well, I want you to look carefully. Were there any opportunities to play dive Reinhardt with what you know, with what you see? Let's go back just a little bit here. Um, tricky. I could do the diva, but also the Bob. I don't know if that counts as dive. Yeah, well, it's Bob is still a tank, right? So it's like it's not exactly better. What yeah. do you see right here? Do you see it? Oh, on the left. Yeah, you have. I think just yeah. enough HP that where if you wanted to go for this Ash, you could, right? Mm -hmm. And that would be again not running down the gauntlet. You kind of avoid the diva while you're doing it. So it would be a safe pin. It would be a risky-ish pin, but it wouldn't be a total troll, right? So, um, yeah. Okay, either way, you missed the opportunity to dive. You did not win the tank trade because you didn't shatter or pin or swing, right? Um, there's a lot of little details for the tank trade as well. Like, you would probably want to shield her micro-missiles, right? And then once she's done with her micro-missiles, it's easier to swing on her. But yeah, okay. Are you guys? Yeah, you need you need to disengage here. Good. Back up. Play the corner, and then look for opportunities to dive. Where should you dive right now? Where should you dive? And how should you dive? Uh, just shoot onto the diva. Just yeah. You could beat the crap. You just just part, win the tank trade. But that's not dive. Yeah. That's not dive. Okay. It's fine to do what you're doing, but I'm asking you, how do you dive? Um, go for the uh, the rest of the team that's under the train. How? Remember, you don't uh, run the gauntlet, charge. right? No, don't charge. Not here, uh, certainly the not. You, same you thing die. from before. So this way? Yeah. You could. Yeah, you could. You could pin up this way and then come right here and hold shield big space from this but there's an even easier solution uh around the stairs on the right let's see what happens oh, with shatter this is over <laughs> you see it yeah. yeah you skip you 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 think like a tracer you think like a tracer now you you can win the tank trade here you absolutely can you can just shatter this ash right now if you want because even with life grip, that's that's a lot of targets. Just do it, 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 do it. Do it. That's if you see two people, shatter them. Because the life weaver can't she can't do it. Yes. Took it too long though. Took it too long. I wanna see you be I wanna see you um practicing your 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 fire strikes as well. Just a little a wee bit. I know it does about the same damage as uh it does, I think the same damage as a swing. Um but you can use the swing fire strike combo, right? You familiar with that one? Yeah. Okay. Nice little weapon flourish there. We'll watch one more <laughs> fight. So it's either you decide you commit and you win the tank trade with better shield use, fire strikes, shielding cooldown, stuff like that, or you dive. And you don't never, ever, ever, ever dive right down the middle. Always try and look for an angle. I don't, where do they come from? <laughs> I have no I, clue. I, I was lost when I was there. Oh, they came from behind you. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you oh. and I both have horrific awareness. We should be ashamed of ourselves. <laughs> it's a good fire striker there. That would have hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is fine. Good try there. Okay. Okay, you can push cart. Tank trade. Oh, dang. That's okay. Life grip is huge. Walk forward. Let's go. All right. Dive, Ryan. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, frick. <laughs> but you
But you know what? You got the angle, right? Like this is still this is still causing kind of chaos. And there it is, right? So now the junk dies. So then now yeah. you just need to get your HP back. Dive Reinhardt. Nice. He's dead. Heck, you could even use the high ground here to drop onto somebody if you want to. Oh, your summer just EMP'd nobody. <laughs> Holy crap, that was worse than I thought it would be. I'm not going to lie with you. Good. Good. Okay, I just got to see this. She just stood there. She froze. <laughs> she accepted defeat. Your life we've received her. Holy crap. Okay, dive Reinhardt. Let's go. Nice fire strikes. Wow. Does his swing... Does it still... Um, I don't know if it worked in uh, Overwatch 1. Does it still work the same in Overwatch 2 where like, if you move the camera to the opposite way, yes. you can yes. reach longer? Yep, yep, yep. Slightly. Oh, okay. You can extend the... Re it has an active hitbox, right? So you can extend okay. it by a little bit. Yep. And you can catch like the corner to reach it a little bit further, right? There's all all that tech is still the same. Okay, okay. This is fine. <laughs> um. Okay. So Malga actually sucks versus Reinhardt. I think right now, um, the cardiac change the, really hurt him versus Reinhardt. The Three seconds, you can just yeah. hold shield on him. You just hold shield, and then he just melts. Because he requires... Yeah. I mean, Shatter hurts him a lot. Pin hurts him a lot. Um, yeah, so as long as you see, like, you're shielding Cardiac, like, you're fine. It does require a little bit of follow-up from your team. But if there's any follow-up from your team whatsoever, it's, it's like, it's tough. Oh, no. I was annoyed right there. Oh, wow. Perfect. That's great. Nice. I mean, that that's unfortunate. You just needed to pin out sooner. Like, if I see this here, and I'm like, I'm not comfortable taking this here because I don't have HP, you just need to get out. Because that's the thing with a dive. It's not just about pinning in, but like, oh, I don't like what I'm doing now. Like, what would a Winston do right here? You know? He'd jump out. Mm -hmm. So jump out, <laughs> right? Just get out of dodge, right? Like, this this is like, you don't have to take this fight, right? You're not really equipped to deal with it. All right, let, let's, let's watch one more. I lied. Let's do one more. Um... I like the idea here. Let's dive right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, you could shield off the Malga and shatter front, or you could just drop and shatter. I guess it's a question of, like, is your teammates there? I think that's probably why you're hesitating, and I think that's it. But if that's the case, then you really shouldn't be here either, right? Really? If you're worried about your teammates, you need to get all the way out. Okay. Let's do it. Nice. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, but again, I, I think... You start to take damage, and then, I mean, honestly, like, you're getting murked from behind by the Junk Reaper. Honestly, it's a little bit unfortunate. Yeah. I think you just pincered yourself a little bit. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, John... Let's take some notes. What do you got? What do you got for Ryan? What do you got for Ryan? Um... Dive a lot more. Like okay. whenever okay. I see an opportunity to look by themselves. For, for angles to dive, pin, back line uh, targets to threaten kills, either get kill or hold shield to pull attention and potentially pin out. Do not dive down the middle look for angles right because you you'll you'll just melt right? you'll just melt you need to be creative with how you approach things okay other option is other option is win tank trade shield cds swing play corners hit fire strikes hit shatters mm -hmm. uh if there's situation position you're losing just pin out that's it mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, no, I don't have any questions. Okay. Little, little bit more. Uh, I, I, it's a lot of the similar stuff with Tracer, you know, with how you're approaching and how you're setting up fights. Okay, if you have any questions.